face clan is still having issues i talked about them a while ago and when i talked about them last time uh their stock plummeted it still is not recovered it's still in a very bad state of affairs which is not shocking because uh phase rain an og phase member has leaked a, a lot of things regarding phase and they're not good for phase at all so the first thing that phase rain leaked was in regards to phase clan tweeting we want more women in phase clan turns out when they tweeted that they already decided who they'd pick and uh face rain leaked it and it's grace von dean now i don't have any issues with grace uh and you shouldn't either honestly i know some people online have been having issues with her being the pick and it's understandable but you should be hating on phase clan not her she did nothing wrong because as face rain points out in this tweet spoiler alert it's grace and the only reason i heard was because she was on an episode of stranger things which yeah that's a valid reason to not like the way face clan is currently managed but grace did nothing wrong in doing this she also does actually stream and she does it fairly often so i really don't think she deserves any kind of backlash for joining phase because she had an offer she liked the offer she took the offer and she actually streams there's nothing really wrong with that at all and if you're going to be attacking anyone for being in phase it should be snoop dogg okay now snoop dogg is currently out of phase right and we all love snoop dogg in our own way right but snoop dogg was paid like millions of dollars to basically just go afk on live stream uh and forget he was live phase clan also paid snoop dogg's son a lot of money which is really weird because i don't think snoop dogg's son did anything in regards to phase at all i never saw him publicly i doubt he did anything on the back end they kind of just gave him money and was like okay snoop dogg and, and his kid are part of phase now so if you're gonna really be going after phase for picking anybody it, it should be snoop dogg okay they also got a few other celebrities to join phase clan and they didn't do anything with it so right now whoever's calling the shots at phase clan for uh for getting new members and actually doing things is completely out of their depth and they have no idea what they're doing it also doesn't help that it's probably a board of directors of literal boomers who don't understand the internet and also can't move fast one of the things that you need to be able to do as a content creator is move fast if you can't move fast you're done so things on the internet change extremely quickly and if you can't jump on something the, the second it happens pretty much you're screwed like here's an example for you i am a surgeon that means dead okay it's actually dead now i made a video about it a bit ago and yeah it was like still kind of alive but it was already in the process of dying it was like 24 hours old if you can't be quick on this stuff it's not gonna work out for you so that definitely is not helping phase clan that these boomers uh, i'm assuming boomers are making decisions that are just not good for the, the the organization as a whole and then also some people like went out of their way to go to grace's twitter and ask about trick shots in relation to phase clan and it's like i get it guys you like trick shots but let's be honest here it's a dead thing it doesn't really exist anymore like this tweet can you moonwalk a 540 neck no scope off afghan cliff bro trick shots are like done okay phase clan barely uploads let alone trick shots okay they don't do trick shots anymore get over yourself if the requirement to join an organization was watch it for 10 years every single esports org type thing would be nowhere you are grasping at straws with that kind of stuff it's not worth it just move on if you like trick shots that much bring it back okay make an esports org that only does trick shots they win tournaments with trick shots bring it back if you like it that much but ignoring that drama with phase clan hiring grace for a second phase clan has not been doing well with their financials at all the phase rain has been leaking things like he leaked grace was joining this was posted about a day before they actually announced grace was joining the org and he also leaked phases financials and how much they're losing on these segments okay 224k 37k 94k 21k 48k 86k 33k and 1k and that is a month so phase clan is spending 750k a month on um esports teams and stuff which i think is fine as long as they're supplementing the money which they're not doing because moist critical has an esports thing and it's definitely losing him money he's not making money on that there's not much money in esports as of now because mainly brands don't want to sponsor specific esports because they're scared about their brand image like csgo for example doesn't really have sponsors because the brands are like oh no the teams are called terrorists and counter terrorists what will they think of our toilet paper they just freak out over nothing because the people who run those companies are like 80 years old so yeah overall there's not a lot of money in esports which is kind of widely understood at this point but i 
still think esports should be supported. I just think it should be supported with supplementing the income somehow. Because if esports organizations eat the cost enough and keep doing esports tournaments and things like that, eventually esports will become massive, massive, and companies won't be able to ignore it any longer. I mean, everyone sponsors the NFL, the Super Bowl's huge, and they, that whole organization is just concussion simulator. That's all it is. If they can get sponsors, so can a game that has the name terrorist and counter terrorist in it. And for some reason, FaZe Clan is allergic to uploading YouTube videos now. I don't know why. Their videos are like pretty hit or miss on if they do well or not. Like this video has 2 million views, just has 600K. This one has 130K. This one has 67K. It's very hit or miss, but that's also understandable with how old the FaZe Clan channel is. Like 8.6 million subs over the course of almost 13 years is a long time. A lot of these subs are definitely dead. So I understand why they're not sinking their teeth into making content, but if you're an esports organization and you need to make money uh, and you need to supplement that income, you should use the big channel you have that you can use to supplement income. I don't understand why they don't do that. To me, it's a no brainer because definitely with the right people, they could be getting millions of views on each video pretty consistently. They have the, the reach for it. But they don't really do that. And I think they need to get younger people on to get ideas for content, especially because um we made the world's biggest NFT. No one liked NFTs like that. We all made fun of them. It wasn't like we admired them. Um, It's not a terrible idea, but it definitely is not up there on the good idea list. Squid Game in real life, though, that is a good idea. That is a good one. And you can tell because it did pretty well. But yeah, FaZe Clan's losing money. Uh, no one's surprised. We all assume they were because they're paying people to do nothing like Snoop Dogg. What kind of surprises me, though, is that FaZe Rain leaked the income four days ago. And for some reason, the stock has gone up and is projected to go up. I don't understand that personally, but here we are, I guess. And it also doesn't help that FaZe is pushing away all the content creators who actually make content because they're basically siphoning way too much of their income from them. Like, I forget the specifics, but basically, if you work for FaZe Clan, you are making at least 30% less than you would on your own and orgs don't really offer that much benefit anymore like phase clan used to be something to aspire to it used to be something that you wanted to do but nowadays it's pretty easy to grow your own stuff if you already know what you're doing like the people who have left phase clan to make their own content have already been making content without phases help for a very long time and they got really good at it they don't need phase so they need to get better at retaining the youtubers and twitch streamers who actually make the money and and grow their organization because if you don't have them you're screwed it's like how twitch is currently treating all their partners like absolute garbage because why would you keep streaming on twitch if youtube has better offers kick has better offers and rumble has better offers at first i thought kick and rumble were going to completely die out because it's usually what happens but twitch has actually fumbled the bag so hard they are pushing everyone away from their website no one wants to really stream on twitch they're only really there because the community is there and the ui is good that's pretty much it if twitch doesn't have those two things the ui thing will stay but if twitch loses the community they have oh boy that website's done so it's gone if there's no reason to have an allegiance people will leave immediately no one likes twitch everyone who streams on that website hates the goddamn platform and actually kind of surprising phase rug is still in phase i thought he would have left by now because he does way good on his own. He does not need face win. I'm not a big fan of him. I, I just don't like vibe with his personality, but I got to get the new props. He is great at uploading and he is great at getting videos to bang. But yeah, overall, Face Clan just needs to actually make content and do the thing that makes them money, which is making content and stop blowing all their cash on esports if they can't afford it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you're new. Click the entries now, check out more of my content and have a good one.